Wait on my buddy Eric. I'm not too sure if he's late or I'm early. I think maybe both. But thanks for coming back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel and coming back time and time again. We have come up on our second year of being on YouTube. And to me, that is just awesome. We have many more years to come, many more fishing trips to come. I just wanted to take a quick second and thank each and every one of you, especially especially those who have been with me since the beginning. Although, in my mind, this is still the beginning, just kind of new to this whole YouTube game. You know, keeping it as real as possible. No ga no no gadgets, no gimmicks. Just just a guy out here fishing and trying to bring you along first person so you can experience the fishing trip with me especially if you can't get out or if you're stuck in the office stuck at home and so i try to bring that atmosphere to you the atmosphere that's around us and what's going on in my regular day or my regular fishing day but thanks again i deeply appreciate it but we are out here freeport area we're going to hit the marsh my last trip out i broke off on a couple of reds so I was not happy with that at all. So I wanted to come out and redeem myself and see if I can catch maybe one or two more uh, or actually catch one or two because like I said, I broke off. So we are right in the middle of the flounder, the beginning of the flounder run. This is pretty much like the first, second week of the flounder run. So we are right there at the flounder cuff. I am taking a step back from chasing the flounder around the Galveston area to be in the kayak and you know what I really love and enjoy being the kayak and I really love going out to those reds although flounder is my first love but reds is a close second so probably said way too much too long of an intro but thanks for coming back well hopefully hopefully when to hook up I'm not really too sure what to expect feels like we do have a tide that is dumping out water temp is about 68 degrees so it is warm not a cloud in the sky it's a little hazy a little foggy this morning but we're gonna try to we're gonna try to hook up i'm just rambling and i apologize for that but we're gonna try to hook up for you guys i lost it Because I pulled it up instead of netting it. Yep. And guess what? You were finna turn around and talk shit. Man, why the hell you ain't netting? That was the first that was the first fish. I didn't think he was big. How big? That looked like about 16. Yeah, he was about 6'17. Yeah. But he, he didn't he didn't he didn't look that big the first time he jumped out. I'm like, oh this is a little guy. Man, so he was on the on the top. Man. He was on the top walking. So I went and went to grab him and then I saw how big it was. I was like, oh hell! And I, I wasn't I wasn't lifting him up with a lot of strength. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta realize how big, how heavy it was. So when I went, and that's why I slipped. God dang, here. This was smaller. See, that's what I was gonna do with that last one. <laughs> that's what I was gonna do with that last one. Sorry, Eric. You could have had a flounder for your, for dinner, and I, I blew, ruined it for you. Knock a tail lure. Tail knocking. Let go of my lure, bro. I want my lure back. Let go of my lure. I'm gonna put him in. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Frisbee. Fat flatter. How big is he? 18 and 3 quarters, buddy. Man, that's closer than 19. 18 and a. Let me see, hold him up. Look, there you go. There we go. <laughs> Little speck. Little speckle trout. Little guy right here. Ooh, that guy's bloody. Good luck. That's for Eric. That's for my homies that ain't with me no more. Ooh. 
this guy hit this thing so solid. Man, he hit it hard. I thought he was a monster the way he hit it. Pretty undersized guy though. <clears throat> he's not too big. Might be right at 20. But he smashed it. You know, coming back here, I thought there was a... Uh, I thought we had a lot of potential. This little black back area back here. I hadn't been back here before. But I thought there was potential being a, a red or two. I really hadn't seen anything. But I'm glad this guy was on. Look, he's going to be short. Not really too much going on, so kind of reach into the bag and pull out some gope. Hoping to catch somebody. So I want a little something, and this guy responded to it. But he's going to be undersized. I'm going to measure him anyway, just for fun. 19 and a quarter. But he hit it hard. Nice guy. Pretty guy. A ah, little trout, a little speck. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good guy. Get him back over the yak. Secure this guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, he's gonna interrupt. He tried to interrupt my uh, my Snickers. Almost got his slime on my Snickers bar. Where's, where's my lippers go? I'm gonna secure him real fast. Whoop, got him there. Another one, huh? Yep. Speck? Yep. Yep, got the little specks right here. You have this current going. You have the well, the Oh, his eye came out! Ah his eye came out! Oh man. Oh man, I did not know that was in his eye. But we're gonna screamish look away. I just did that to him. I am so sorry, buddy. I am so sorry. We're gonna put you right here. No harm, no foul. Yep, he swam away. But see, that's the eye socket. It's kind of gross. Oh my god, that kind of grossed me out a little bit. Ooh. He was big, man. Oh, big boy. It's a big boy. I broke off. He swam right at me. He broke. He broke my braid. No. He swam. He swam at me, and then, uh, man, I just had a nice red on. He hit it. As soon as it hit the water, he hit it, and he started swimming it at me. And I tried to hurry up and catch up to him. And I want to go set the hook, and it, my braid broke. It just popped. I don't know if my line was compromised before from fishing around some of the reefs or what happened what happened. I didn't I did not put a lot of I didn't really set the hook hard enough for my braid to break. But my braid did break, so but that was a monster. It was nice. I caught it on I had it on black with Shartshoe's tail voodoo shad from Inger Bates. First time I really fished with that one, and I was just blind casting. Just Eric and I are just coming through, and I'm just casting and casting, and uh, just he just smashed it. So hopefully we get another one. We'll see. All right, so that's it. I quit. I'm not doing this YouTube thing anymore. Closing out the channel. I'm not even fishing anymore. I'm gonna sell my kayak and give my rods away. I'm just done. I'm done. No, but seriously, you know, my braiding line didn't break. What happened was that my leader line broke once again. Now, a little backstory was going on with the leader line was that I was having a conversation with my friend Eric, and I thought we were talking about leader line. He thought we were talking about fishing line. So he recommended, and not only did he recommend a line to me, but he also gave me the line. And said use this he's been using it it has worked great 
It is really strong, but this is not leader line. And I have been tying this as leader line. This label is a leader line. Not the red label, but the white. So, little confusion there. I am not blaming it on him. I have caught reds with this, with that leader line that's not leader line. I've caught reds with this. I have caught specs, nice flounder with it. It's just just a situation or circ of circumstance has led me to get a few lose a few fish so I'm not blaming Eric at all but I will not be using this line in any shape form or fashion that's going into the trash <laughs> But thanks for watching. You know, that's going to sum up the trip for me. You know, I just couldn't get onto any big fish. There was a lot of big mullet out there. We were scaring a lot of those big horse mullet, and they were scaring some of the reds. Now, we did see a few more nice-looking reds out there, but we just couldn't get them to react or bite. And like I said, they were getting spooked pretty easy. With that outgoing tide like we were having it all day i was really expecting us just to really reap the benefit of those reds moving in and out and when we were fishing that intercoastal or when i was fishing that intercoastal i was catching and running into those flounder probably should have stayed in the intercoastal a little bit more and fish for flounder because in my mind that's a a path a migration path that they're going to take going out to open water so i bet if we would have hung out there and fished more of that channel we would have caught and hooked into some more of the flounder but keep in mind i wasn't really looking for flounder i was looking for some reds that day and like i said before in the beginning this is our two-year anniversary this month so i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching and supporting the channel don't forget to check us out on social media as well and if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification let you know the next time I upload a video I try to put at least two videos out a week I am in the water two to three times a week so as fast as I fish as quick as I get home from my fishing trip I try to hurry up download start hustling start editing and start uploading for you guys to watch some of my fishing adventures but like i said thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe share hopefully next time catch me hook it up thanks